New video tonight showing us the intense moments that police took down a man who brought multiple handguns and rounds of ammo to the Medford Airport. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC5 News at 11. I'm Christina Zagami. In a day and age where public shootings have become all too common, a frightening scene was halted today at the Medford Airport. Police say a man tried to get through the TSA checkpoint to board a plane while armed with several guns. Instead of taking a trip, he's now spending a night in jail. That's tonight's top story at 11. A tense situation at Medford's airport Thursday afternoon. Here you see a man being wrestled by police officers, but here's how it started. Police say the man, later identified as 33-year-old Anthony James Anderson, came to the airport with a visible gun in a shoulder holster. Anderson walked up to the TSA security checkpoint and demanded to be let through so that he could board a plane. Anderson, who didn't have a ticket, was told he couldn't go through the checkpoint with a gun. That's when police were called. According to MPD, they showed up and asked Anderson to leave. He refused to leave and wouldn't talk. Police then attempted to arrest him for trespassing and say during the struggle, Anderson started to reach for his gun. That brings us to the moment the officer wrestled him to the ground and got him in handcuffs. Lydia Sneed saw the whole thing. TSA was like, for your safety, everybody stay away from this. And then all of a sudden, I peek down and you can see cops come in and then they tackle him. Soon after, police say they found three additional guns on him and multiple rounds of ammunition. Anderson is currently at the Jackson County Jail being held on numerous assault charges. Medford police still aren't sure what his motive was, but say it could be related to a mental health crisis. The airport says the security checkpoint was closed temporarily and one flight was delayed, but things quickly returned to normal.